I think the only way I can describe it is that after so long, I suddenly feel like the real me. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. And I feel like um, Catherine again. It's, it's brilliant. I love it. Hi everyone and welcome. It's Lauren here. Raymond here. And in this session, session number two of this brand new video series, we're going to deep dive with Catherine Jane as we explore a beautiful scene that we shot for her recently as part of her video branded acting showreel. The scene is entitled Homeless Lady and it is so beautiful. It's something that we are incredibly proud of uh, to have produced and worked with Kathy on. So let's have a look at the scene and then let's jump into an interview with Kathy herself. Did Peter send you? He's kind like that. Takes after his father that way. They like it when I visit. I like it when I visit. Do you talk to them often? Tuesdays. Tuesdays is my day. Our day. Hmm. It was a little while ago there. Couldn't make it. It was my foot, you see. I had a problem with my foot. Oh, they was devastated. I mean, I couldn't sleep for nights. You know, knowing I'd made them a promise and I couldn't keep it. I seem glad you're back. Do you have children? Hmm. Seems safe, the walls. How many could swim? But it was his foot. I got caught. Been down there quite a few minutes by the time his dad jumped. And I screamed. I remember screaming, but nothing came out. It's just Silent. It's just silent. And I knew when my husband didn't come back. And then they drained the lake and found both. All tangled, trapped in the debris. I like it when I come visit. I like it when I come visit. Catherine, Jane, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So in this episode, we're going to dive into exploring the homeless lady. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on this, on this lady, this character that you, you took from script to screen. Talk to me about the journey you took with her and, and how you got inspired with her. Yeah, it was, um, it was one of those characters that I, I love because, you know, I love, I'm, really into doing character development and taking a lot of time developing a character 
And when I got given that, that piece of writing, there was so much I could do with it. And I think I remember saying to you, do you mind if I give her a, a couple of little quirks here and there? And, and it just, it, she was easy to build, if you know what I mean. She just, she just came to me. The more I read it, the more I felt her and the more I got into it. And I found myself really, really over concentrating on her, if you know what I mean. Like I'd be driving in the car and I'd be doing her. I'd be in the shopping, you know, and I'd be doing her. It was, it, yeah, I enjoyed it. I loved her. I still love her. I've actually written another piece with as her because um, I love her so much. It's like she's, she's still with me. That's wonderful. I, I know that for us, it's the same. I think crafting her and building her first, you know, on the page, I still remember the day that Ray and I sat down and our desks face each other. And from across the desk, we kind of started writing this scene out and, and rewriting it and really taking her character on a story that gave us so much in just a very short period of time. And you know, all the scenes that we do as part of the video branded acting showreels, they're all original scenes. So we sit down with the actors and, and have meetings, you know, whether that be in person or virtual in the early, early stages of pre-production like we did with you to, to kind of have a chat about the, the characters that you would like to play, the characters that we feel would you uh, would suit you well in building your brand and and helping you get more work with a showreel. And from there, that back and forward, and then we refine them. And, you know, Ray and I were there sitting by that stage, typing up this character and bringing this scene to life. And um, I knew at the very, the moment we had kind of locked down her dialogue and her scene, I knew that it was going to be uh, a beautiful scene and a scene that I would have be very proud to have have written and and for us to have produced and directed when you brought her to life especially on location and we started to see her really come alive that was incredibly magical and then I think it was the next step for us or definitely for me was around the third or fourth edit in post-production and she was really refined by that stage in the editing process. And I found it incredibly touching. And it, it's a scene that I hold very close to my heart as well. I remember on set, you said that, not that you could relate to her, but that you were drawing a lot of things from life. Is that something that you'd like to elaborate on? In my, in my young year, it was so bizarre that you actually wrote that piece for me because obviously you don't you didn't know my my past life or anything but she touched me um in so many ways because when I was actually 16 I for some odd reason I don't know why I did it I decided to leave home and I ended up living on the streets for about six months um, and I kept a diary of all the people that I met that lived on the streets. So there was a little bit of everybody in her that I had met and I could relate to. And I think that the biggest thing I learned when I was experiencing that was that these people weren't how you imagine them to be as typical, you know, alcoholics or drug addicts or they were people that had a story. They were people that were there for a reason. And that's what I tried to give to her. She was, she's a person, she's real. She's, you know, she's got her background. And it was almost like I tried to, I, tr I tried to create her feelings through her eyes. If you know what I mean? Like you could see her pass through her eyes. And I loved the way that you guys filmed and directed it because it was almost like fly on the wall kind of feeling. Do you know what I mean? It was it was a lovely it was a lovely peaceful scene, and I really really enjoyed doing it and bringing it to life. It's interesting you talk about her eyes because I I totally get what you you were referencing there. But it's interesting because for me, I'm so incredibly fascinated with her mouth and her accent and the tonality and pronunciation of her dialogue and the meaning that there is kind of within all that. For me, that's something that's quite strong and powerful in your performance. 
Um, she has these little mannerisms in the way she talks, which I think are quite powerful. How much effort or prep or kind of uh, exploration did you did you put in that before getting to set? Um, that was one of the first things that came to me when I I felt the character was that that mouth movement. That's the, that was the quirk. If you remember when I said to you, do you mind her having a quirk? Or a little kind of disability. It wasn't massive. I said, I because you said to me, um, you know, don't don't overdo it. And I remember thinking, I just want her to have something a bit quirky, a bit weird about her. And that was really subtle. So that was the very first thing. As soon as I started reading the script, that's the first thing I gave her was that mouth movement. And um, from that, everything else kind of fell into place. And the accent, I think, the accent was, I love giving, you know I love giving characters accents. It's like, I do it all the time and I'm really bad for it. You know, it's kind of, I should stop doing it because nobody really knows what I actually sound like. Well, you do now, but you know, I love giving them a background and their accent because hers was kind of, it was meant to make her sound a little bit lower class, but not dumb, if you know what I mean. Mm. So it was a very subtle kind of, you get the impression that she probably didn't have a great life before she was on the streets anyway, but she had an okay one. Mm. Yeah, I get what you mean. I, I, it's You have this feeling that she takes a lot of pride or enjoyment in... The, the simpler things of life because that's how life has kind of unfolded for her and yet her life then took a sudden turn even further and she loses her husband and her child her, the only place she can go to is still love and still going and visiting and talking to them like that's her way of staying sane and and, and staying alive, I think. And so that's, it's both tragic and yet beautiful at the same time. It's, yeah, I I think as well, I think when we were filming, there was a certain point um, just before the end of when she was looking out on the lake and she turns to say, I like it when, when I come visit or, you know, they like it when I come visit. And I do remember saying to you, I felt like she wanted to cry, but she shouldn't because her crying had been all done. It was, a, so it was just like, yeah. there was the want there, but she had no more tears left. Yeah, she was empty. Yeah. And I think she was probably even beyond that, right? Like she found an acceptance in the world now and the relationship that she had. And I think that ties really well into, you know, her dialogue in, in that we kind of start going on the journey with her where we just think it's a, uh, uh, this this homeless lady or this this lady we don't have a lot of backstory about and she's just there visiting the ducks and feeding the ducks and she enjoys the pleasure of the birds but then very quickly the scene turns to something a lot deeper and you realize what the ducks represent and or her relationship to that space and I think that's quite beautiful it, it was and you know what it's when you get something written like that as well because um the writing was beautiful it was lovely and as an actor when you when you're given something like that you know it, it, sometimes it can be hard to take the pages off the word and create you know the what you're supposed to create but that was really really easy to do because it was so it was so there anyway. It was like just it just needed taking off the page, and and it was like three D in my mind. As soon as I read it, it was like yeah, I, I can see her already. Kathy, if I can ask, how was your experience working on set with us? I loved it, and I think what I took away from it, number one, it, it like it's just fun anyway because it was you guys. But <laughs> um, <laughs> why? Thank you. I. <laughs> no, I, but Lauren, you actually said something to me on set, which made me realize something. And I did like, I learned something while I was on set with you guys. And that was around about 2 p.m. You came to me and said, you look really like tired, Kathy. <laughs> and I realized, I think I said to you, I realized I do that on set. There's a certain time because I had been on set before. 
with other people. And I remember that same feeling. So now I've learned to stay alert and to stay awake. And it's even now uh, in the project that I'm doing, when I find myself starting to go into that kind of zone, where you start, start zoning out, because you're the only person that's ever said it to me. Really? And it's like, yeah. And it like it, now it doesn't happen because it's like, wow, okay, I can feel it happening. I need to go outside. I need to get some fresh air. I need to, you know, have a Red Bull, whatever. <laughs> Let, let's pick myself up. That's really an interesting point because a lot of the clients that we've worked with have said similar things and not so much around the tired type of comment, but the fact that the, the experience of of working with Ray and I and getting a, a branded, you know, video acting showreel produced is more than just that result. It's more than just the product that's delivered and, and using that as an asset to market yourself and brand yourself even further. But there's this huge uh, untapped realization there as well around the experiential learning process of being on set and gaining knowledge in that in that onset space as well so you you end up walking away with with two very um two very different yet complementary benefits and in fact we when we shot a scene with sumo afterwards uh he, he mentioned that he found the experience incredibly liberating right because he had come on having not done a lot of acting and then he's able to 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 go away and when he watched his delivered product and when he reflected on the experience of learning through that very safe guided uh you know collaborative set environment he realized that he could see the quality that he was capable of producing and so it gave him this tremendous encouragement and strength to fight even harder moving forward because he had something to show himself that that he had he had done it and he can do it yeah it's um it is being on set with you guys it's it is a really safe environment to learn that's the thing because everybody has to start somewhere every everybody has to you know have a first time on set and it's it's hard if you go on to a set where everybody knows everything that's going on and not you do you know what I mean? It's And it's very different as well if you are somebody that's come from a theatre background and then you go on to a, a TV set or film set and it's a completely different atmosphere. Very, very different. Um, and personally, I love the TV film atmosphere. <laughs> I, I, I came from theatre, as you know. But I just, even though the, the TV and film set is a lot harder it's it's more tiring it can be very very boring sometimes because you're saying the same thing 27 times um you know and trying to look just as exhilarated as you did the first time you said it but it's brilliant to learn in a safe environment how you do that and get used to doing that and having people around you that you can trust that aren't going to look down on you if you don't understand what's been asked of you and also could it be that because you you hadn't had a lot of on-set film experience before us is that correct yeah i'd only done um a week on set before i'd been with you guys and it was the same same short film so basically that was my very first thing that i'd done just before i came on set with you guys yeah right and so you were then in a a space of now be, being the lead in in something that's very high quality and is everyone's there to make it for you, right? To to make this great for you to use in in leveraging and and growing and marketing yourself uh, as, as an actor and as a professional actor moving forward. So in some ways, I feel that, that that might seem a bit daunting, but then it didn't seem daunting from the outside, kind of watching you. So I'm wondering if if you just had the faith to allow for trust of us to guide you along that process and and if that was the case could, could you talk about that could you share your thoughts on how you allowed yourself to 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 trust in us in the process number one i i think i've said this to you i don't know if i've said this to you before but <laughs> i've definitely thought it before um 
And I, I actually had a conversation um, probably about a week ago with my mother talking about what we had done. And I said to her, the weird thing was in my younger years when I was involved in acting and early 20s, I was actually surrounded by people that were working actors and directors and, you know, they they were there and I had the opportunities, but I didn't do anything because I didn't see what I could do. The difference is meeting you guys, you gave me the tools to do what I had to do. It was, I, I let so many opportunities go past me in my, my younger years when it came to acting. Um, and as soon as I walked through the doors to your first um, training class, then the, the tools were there, they were given to me. And it, it just made a massive, massive difference. And I could, I could see what I could do. Wonderful. Thank, thank you for that wonderful kind feedback. But you're also someone who's actioned those things, right? So it does come back to you as well. And kudos to you because I, I work and teach many people, but you know, not everybody takes the action like you do. So well done to you. Ray and I, as you know, we've said to you uh, many a times off camera and in other stuff we've done together, we have a lot of respect for you and we definitely see a long uh, you know, working relationship with you in this industry. I think the only way I can describe it is that after so long, I suddenly feel like the real me. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. And I feel like um, Catherine again. It's, it's brilliant. I love it. That must be a very empowering feeling, is it? Yeah, I can, I've got a passion now. I can see where I want to go. I can, and I can actually see that I can get there. That's the difference. <laughs> You know, there's a big difference when you stand in your kitchen for years and years and years. I've told you this, that I stand in the kitchen creating characters. I did that for so many years while I was cooking dinner or, or cleaning my house, but it was just in my head. Now it's not. Now it's, it's real. I can actually go out there. I am doing it. It's not that I can do it. I am doing it. So what would your words of advice be for, you know, other actors who are who, are, who do have fears or who are afraid to, to take that kind of step forward and um, follow their, their dreams and, and create goals to achieve the success in their life that they want? The one thing you have to remember as an actor and um, people that are starting out wanting to act, nobody's going to laugh at you for what you do because the audience are there because they want to see what you've got. So show them what you've got. That's why they're there. They're not there to see somebody that's too scared to let it go. They're there because they want to see what you've got. So just go for it. Kathy, thank you so much for taking some time to sit down with us and, and have a chat. It's always a pleasure. And just to finish off, Ray and I definitely want to remind you uh, that you have two you know, major advocates here for you and we absolutely are very focused to help you continue your, your career. We're incredibly proud of you and we, we've absolutely loved every single moment uh, that we've worked with you both in the showreel and or outside of that showreel. So thank you for being a part of our journey too. Thank you.